could you manifest into a dogman? Yes. Yeah. I think I could, yeah. I wouldn't, because then you're crossing over into a completely different field. And this is what American Indians are scared. They don't want you to, you know. Um, I, I listened to a thing once where they captured um, a deer, for instance, and they got it in the tent, uh, like they were doing all the hot tenting and all that lot. And I think they shot it because what it was was a shapeshifter. You know, the bad things that they, I can't think of the word they use. Hmm. I don't like the word. I, I don't agree with it, actually. I think it's not what they think it is. These things that come in, what are they called? Skinwalker? Yes, that's the one, yeah. I mean, a skinwalker mm. to me is just a... And you see, they class all witches as the same. So all witches would be bad, they're skinwalkers. That's not true either. You know, uh, in the olden times of uh, the American Indians, because I've been on this uh, many times, we all have. Some remember, some don't. You know, it's as simple as that. We all have that, oh, yeah, I can... You know, the deja vu, I sometimes think that's like a thing to say. You've been here before sometimes. But I do believe that these... They they did use that a lot more. I was I've tried to speak to people and I've asked them. You know, did you? Uh, uh, and they they sort of won't tell you everything because obviously it's a fear. It's like Sasquatch. You know, they don't. A lot of the indigenous people will not talk about that because they don't want to draw it in. They're scared of drawing it in. You know? Okay, that's interesting. For protection, if I had to, if it was my life or the life of the dog man, and I had to, I would have to do that for my own for my own protection let's just put it that way but i don't feel as i'd get to that point if you did and you changed would do you think in your in your own mind and being uh do you think you could change back into human form again i um possibly yeah i would imagine so but you don't know do you you know who knows i've never done it one mm. would hope so. <laughs> Let's be that way, because you know it's not easy to run your house, is it? When you're not, but I don't know. I, I, I've never, I've never changed to that thought. You know, I've never done it. This was just yeah. I was imagining these claws that she she knew to back away because I'm also a female and a mother. You know, regardless, yeah. so she was not yeah. putting yeah. her. She won't scare me. I, you see, I couldn't put my. Let's put it this way. I wouldn't. I don't think I'd put myself in a position to be in a position where they're going to hurt me. I wouldn't do that anyway because one, I can't bloody run. If you if you pay me, I could run. But uh, I, I've always got to think of my family. So I am the breadwinner of this family. So therefore, she's not doing it, and she had to back away. Now she could, in theory, come and catch me one time when I wasn't known about it, and she could come to me. She wants to not do that either because I would be equally peed off, you know. I don't fear them. I don't want them to know I fear, and I don't fear because once they mm. know that, they've got you. And your yeah. best person to talk about is Deb because she she's been through all this anyway, you know. Yeah, sure. No, I get it. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Um. Interesting, though. Interesting. I've never is. heard that before. It is, but I don't. I'm not saying I, I. You know, I think I could do it if it was the fact that it's just imagine that I had to protect somebody, my family, or whatever. Mm. If it, if that was the way to, for me to do it, I would have to do that. You know, mm. no, we have. I'm not you. Or no, none of us have been put in that position, have we? Where we have to protect ourselves or protect our family. Thankfully, yeah. But we don't know. It's like when you, you know, in, in a situation when they're in a car and they have to move, they have to use all their adrenaline and they manage to move a car. Because if it, if they didn't move that car, they or someone yeah, would be that's killed. Right. It would be that similar position. If you're yeah. asking me, that's the position I'd have to be in to do to make that happen mm. as a as a protection for myself or my family. I think. You know, yeah, that's the, no, that's the way it. I put it. I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. So it's it's, it's more like a werewolf, really, isn't it? No. no, you see, this is the thing again, isn't it? It's not. It's like the, the thing is, unfortunately, um, which I can't say unfortunately because I love them. I love Dog Soldiers. Have you watched Dog Soldiers? Yeah, it's a good film. Yeah, I love that film. You see, and I don't like gore and I don't like violence, but I do like that one. I don't know why, but I do. Yeah. Um, that is a good I love film. wolves. You see, I love wolves. I've got. I, I, uh, my mum bought me a um, a wolf a visit, and I never got to see her. And she passed away. Gutted, I was. Her name was Luna. Um, oh. I just. I've always loved wolves, but I've always loved Aborigines. Apparently, when I was a child, I was absolutely obsessed with Aborigines. Why? Why would I be obsessed with Aborigines as a child? 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know yeah. So I've always loved wolves. I've got no fear of wolves. I don't, I don't understand yeah. why people fear wolves so much. You know, they don't kill that many people. Yes, they might kill some people. But that could be a weak wolf. That could have been a person out on it. You know, who knows why they did it? But they don't generally. I mean, I watched a wolf the other day. It was ever so strange on um, YouTube. You know, and they do those shorts. And this yeah. wolf went past this car. It was massive. I mean, it looked like a cow. It was huge. And it yeah. wasn't. And so I heard a voice, though. I don't know if they heard that. But they said, it said, drive away, drive away. Um, and I thought, I hope they're hearing that. Because I definitely heard it. Because <laughs> you never know on there. Um, and this yeah. wolf was massive. So I've got a lot of time. I love wolves. I've got no issue with wolves. Hmm. Do you have any, um, uh, have you had any, uh, 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 heard voices, you know, when you've been out in the garden or uh, disembodied voices? Have you heard any, uh, um, any, uh, do you, uh, what do you mean? Spirit or them? Well, first of all, them, let's keep on the subject of them. And then we can sort of like just, touch upon the the spirit world a little bit um, but yeah them, them, but... them they don't talk a lot they don't they do but it's i can hear it now as i'm talking to you actually um it's a very odd sound you know i don't you've got to watch it i can't think i'll have to try and send you who this person is they're in they they're in actually florida and there there was a group of men and they went out as a group in florida i can't think of the name they called themselves and then the one had he was doing a show with all of them then he needed to be on his own for a bit and he hired a cottage i don't know if you've seen this hired a cottage and something happened to him there he was there by the fire and he was scared to death and he's really scared because like when you said to me do you think they mark you he thinks they do and he thinks that there's some people that they mark to hunt and there's some people they mark to get those people to them to hunt. So, like, the female would then draw the men and then they'd be able to hunt the men. This is what he was saying. I'll have to try and forward the, the name of the yeah. thing because they've okay. all disbanded now. Because of this, yeah. it was too much for him to keep the group going with him in it. So, he yeah. sort of – I can't think um, – the chap that died was it the man that died i'll have to figure it out it's it's an american thing he he was being interviewed by i think the man that's passed away recently i can't think of his name and he was being interviewed by them and well the tell you what, if you if you if you when it comes to you so kick us over a link and i'll put it on the description yeah. here yeah i'll put, put it on, it on the description, description. It's really yeah interesting. yeah kerry arnold kerry arnold was the man ah. And he yeah. used to use a British yeah. woman, didn't he? His this yeah. white lady that got him in touch with um, whatever. That's and right. this man was on it. And he was talking. He's got his hair shaved. And he was with a chap. Um, that they work in Florida. But he got... And I think... I wonder... He, he, I think he got visited. And I think it really freaked him out in a way that he was told. And I feel... You know, um, it's really in these films when these things talk, they're sort of talking this sort of almost like rough computer voice that's how i hear it now as i'm tuning in so yes yeah it's like yeah. really rough like, rah, 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 like like a computer voice where they find it hard to communicate but i do find as well um some of these they say all these different sorts i mean to me they're all dogmen at the end of the day whether whatever sort they are but i do believe one sort whether i'm right or wrong is to do with the egyptian anubis really yeah Anubis, Anubis was a different the, looking one. What's the connection? I don't know. What's the, the, it's a, it was a dog headed god, wasn't it? It was. It was a dog headed god. Well, um, oh, it, it was a. It was. It, it was a dog headed god. It was. Um, it was a gatekeeper, wasn't it? Yeah, Which um, a gatekeeper uh, to what? A portal that's allowing things in and out. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> so when 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 the dead came to the river Styx, yeah, uh, they wouldn't be able to cross the river Styx unless no. they had uh, Anubis would weigh their soul against the feather. I forget what the yeah. word feather is called now. Yeah. And, and yeah, if it if it balanced out, then that was fine. Uh, and he'd then ship them, took, take them in a the boat, and then using a long uh, punt, he'd punt them across the river yep. stick to to their equivalent of heaven. Yeah, uh, that was the sort of story. She was like a gatekeeper of the dead, wasn't he? Yeah, a gatekeeper of the dead. Yeah, but what yeah, a uh, of which the dead? which also that's why a type one, you know, the the black yeah. dog in Suffolk and Norfolk, they call it old shook or shook, old stinker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. is often seen at cemeteries. Yeah, um, and and ancient burial mounds. Yes, um, that's another even thing. Been, even been seen digging. Yes, on, a, on, on ancient burial grounds. Mm. 
Yeah, yeah. and Indian burial grounds. Yeah, there was yes. one small town yeah. monsters in it, didn't they, where it was digging. They did I liked the lady that passed away. She unfortunately she's passed away, hasn't she? Um I can't think of her name. I've got some of her books actually. Um and she she's the same, you know. They they dug on uh, old land Indian burial grounds, old Indian burial mounds. That's what you've got to think of the old Indian. Not the yeah. the sort now that tend to fear more. And you can see how they're suffering, you know, don't fear. You're suffering. You've got such fear. All a lot of the indigenous tribes have got a lot of fear. I can fully understand why. I really can, <laughs> you know, because of everything that's happened to them. You can understand that, can't you? But oh yeah, you can. I'm just yeah. putting in at the moment. I'm just putting Kenneth Arnold. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, Kenneth Arnold. Buh, 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 buh. Just trying to see what the the man's got. Um, he's quite. I'm sure he wore glasses. Um, he was quite a tall chap and he had really shaved hair and I'm sure it was him and the other lady and they did an interview with him and he was, um, he lost it then, that he that was it, he would never go back in the group, um, he couldn't yeah. go in there because I don't know who, who he'd upset or whether, I don't know, sponsors or yeah. whether, you know, he wasn't welcome yeah. back in. No, if you can, if you can just f flick us through when you can and I can put I'll it on description so people can have a little look. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Um, okay, and uh, also as we before we move on, just a quick one. I've been in woods where I've seen on the base of trunks something a bit different. On the base of trunks, doorways, fairy doors, yes, yes actual yes, fairy yes. doors. Have you seen yeah. those? Yeah, yeah. Oh, as I say, that the where I used to take the dog, it was a blooming slog. I couldn't get up there now. Um, and it was full of all sorts of things. Fairies, fairy, they they change. You, they know what they're doing. This is their land. They were here for millennia. If people don't think they are, then the Irish are talking to themselves, aren't they? This place is an island they won't even touch because they know there's a fairy ring there. Yeah. So the Irish are very in tune. I'd like to go over to Ireland. It's another place I haven't been. You know, I don't necessarily need to go to a lot of these places, bearing in mind. But I would just like to go and say, you know, in my mind, I've been there and communicated. Because these yeah. things are, uh, they're very, very, very powerful. These are earth spirit. You know, and if you if you believe, yeah. you know, air, air, water, you know, all of that, you know, you've got to connect to it if you're going to do, you know, so if they're there and that's it. They've been there yeah. for millennia. They're never going to not be there. So, yeah, yeah. absolutely cool. right. They are. They, they yeah. are. They're, 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 they are earth spirits. I do believe that. And they yeah. do exist. They are here. So much so that you are quite right. There is a fairy ring that they were building a road, weren't they? A yeah. motorway or something. Yes. And, yes. and they diverted. They yeah. it cost them millions, yeah, I think. But they millions. Were millions, millions, millions. They weren't allowed to go through, through, it. They to go through it. it. They respected it enough because if they did, then it would be, oh. oof, you know, yeah, um, and up north is places like that up north where have you ever heard of these places where there's been loads of accidents why is there loads yeah. of accidents there yeah yeah there's yeah. loads of accidents there because they've seen spirit or they've seen something run across the road yeah you know do you know, I've got a theory as well. Places of high accident areas, you always get it where you drive along and you, and you go, oh, not that bit again, that stretch of road. That's always having accidents. But it's a straight stretch of road. Yeah. And yet you always find a half smashed up car, yeah. almost <laughs> yeah. as if it's almost as if it's done a 360. Yeah. And you think, how on earth did that happen? It's a straight bit of road. And, and I think that there, there is certain areas, like you say, which are connected to the fae and maybe the fae are not happy or, or the earth spirits are not happy and accidents do happen on that yeah. stretch of road or and this goes on somebody's killed there you know the spirit there they can see the spirit don't forget mm. i'll tell you i heard a fantastic story now i've got a, you've got a bit I'll, after the I've, this is some things i've watched a long time ago there was a couple of people in america driving down a road and they see the woman sees a woman on the side of the road naked Right? Um, right, and he goes, and he, There's nobody there, so they call the police and say, We saw a woman there, right? Uh, unbeknownst to them, a woman had gone missing uh, along that road with her son. She was leaving her family, um, driving back to where she lived, and they lost contact, never heard from her for a while, right? So, uh, not weeks and weeks, obviously, because the story will say they didn't, it wasn't weeks. So, this they saw this spirit that this person they thought there's a woman on the road, and then she wasn't there. They called the police, the police looked around, and as it happened, they they didn't see it. And then they went further around the corner and they saw a shoe, I think a child's shoe. And they looked down this ravine and the car that this woman had been in was down the bottom of the ravine and her son was in the car and she was dead. 
So what she'd oh. done is makes me go really cold, this does, because it just gets me. She'd she'd made herself be seen by the woman in the car so that then the police would find the blooming thing and then they would find the child because the child was near in the end. He, he survived, but it wouldn't have took much longer for him not to. That's how she was able. That's what the mother's love is for their child. She's able to show herself in spirit form for them to find that child. Oh, my word. So you can see how strong the spirit is. You know, people believe it or they don't believe it. There's Some people believe in the afterlife, they don't. I know for a fact it's there. I've always known it, and that's it. I can't change what is. That's how it is. I mean, mm, I was talking yeah. to my uncle in America the other day. I told my auntie that I, I spoke to him. I could. I said to mum, I could hear his accent, <laughs> you know, because he was from the UK and they moved over to America. So it's still got the UK lilt. It's got an unusual lilt. Yeah. And I could hear it. When I can hear it like that, I mean, how... You know, I, I did a tarot read. This is another thing for my mum. Many moons ago, I was 15 years old. I told her exactly. I said, the, um, somebody's going to die. The executor of the will is going to be a vicar. La, 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 la. Right? And we just left it at that. Well, actually, my my mum's uncle died. The executor of the bloody thing was a bloody vicar. I mean, how much? I used to say to my dad, he was a complete atheist. You know, bloody Geordie. Beardy Geordie. And he just took the pee until he had a headache. And I had to heal him. Then when, I, when his headache went away, he thought a bit more about it. And I always throw that story out to non-believers. How could I have known that the executor of the will was going to be that? How did I know that? I didn't. Well, I did. I obviously got the message. But, you know, right. it's impossible to say it's not there if that's the sort of evidence that I've got. Fascinating. Yes. Do you, do, yeah. 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 Do, do, you consider yourself, do, you consider, do you consider yourself a medium? I, if ever anybody says are you a medium, I always say, I always have to laugh. I shouldn't do that really because it's a serious subject. I went into um, a crystal shop not far away from here, and she goes, mm. "You're a medium." I thought I wish I was a bloody medium. Unfortunately, I'm gonna laugh that stop myself because that's just my jest about it. But mm. yes, I I, I would be what's classed as if you wanted to class me as as a medium, but I do. It's an all round thing, isn't it? It's just you talk to spirit, and that's it. You know, you don't have to give yourself a name. It's just what I am, and that's it natural yeah. whatever you know yeah sure yeah yeah uh, that's it did you have you ever uh dabbled in witchcraft i'm not saying because i don't want to be better together <laughs> okay fine no that's fine respect no, that that's pagan, fine i'm as pagan as i come but like if i fill a form and i don't say i'm pagan let's just put it that way because i don't think everybody has to know but yes you, you class me as a pagan i mean you know i've been in a former life i've been burnt so I always okay. say I'm not going to be burnt again. Everybody says you should be. You're going to be cremated. No, I ain't going that way again. No, never again. I've been there once. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> no I got you. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. Um, okay. Right. Um, now with the with the with the, if I just um, there's another thing with the dog man. You had a lot of interactions with female one. Yeah. Are they the dominant? I, just so that she I know. She was the dominant the... in this in this coupling. She was a dominant. Whether they had pups, I don't know. Because we are they, know, are they... hear stories about that, don't you? That they have young. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, it's just such a difficult thing to say because when you communicate, they can obviously communicate spiritually. They can communicate. What's the word like you said before? I can't think of the word you use. Like a spirit form to me, I can hear them, so they can communicate yeah. like that. They've got the ability to do that, um, yeah. which is uh, uh, like like they say the big uh, Sasquatch has, you know, Bigfoot. Yeah. I think they can. Do you, but do you think they they the, do you think out of like, say you got like a, a a male dog man and a female? Would the female be the more dominant one? Because in nature, a lot of times, it's the female that's the more dominant. I think it? she probably would be, yeah. Um, I put, only because she's got young and she's the, the, the female. Uh, you know, I don't know. I would. I just if this particular female was. He was just as dominant, though. Don't get me wrong. He wasn't a weak person or, or dog. You know, is it what dog person? He to me yeah. he wasn't weak either. I mean, I can see him. I can see him in that form. That's what I'm being drawn to at the minute. Is the Anubis form. That's how I see him. That what's it? There's another one like that, isn't it? Because Anubis is a jackal head, not really a dog head. Uh, yeah. But that's what people yeah, see. Like uh, you know, that sort of stand up ears, very muscular. If he was a uh, human, he'd be on steroids because he'd have that triangular shape. Mm, very. Yeah. But then, um, you know, that's the sort of thing I see. Not too much, too not too stylized like that, but that sort of shape. Um, they were both okay. 
quite big. She was a little bit smaller than him, but not much. It wouldn't be very much, I don't think. Um, but okay. that's how I sense them at the bottom there. I don't like to sense them too much because I don't want to draw them in. I don't want them around here, you know, right. um, because I, my, uh, we've, I just had to have my garden done because I'm, I can't do it myself. And it's not, my grandson now thinks all his Christmases have come up once because he actually went around right, the garden. Got so mm. he goes out there and he's quite sensitive. So I, you've got to be very careful. You know, I don't want to draw these things, but I, I am sensing, I can sense them. Let's just put it that way. And if I want to, I can sense them, but I don't tend to. You have to be careful no. what you're sensing. Yeah, got you. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, right. Okay. Um, with uh, is it is it? Have you ever come across any other entities around that area, um, or anywhere I've, else? Yeah, I've, uh, if uh, when we I don't know where we've been. When we drive, I don't know why we'd have driven there. Possibly see my sister because my sister is a, a, a bit away, and we have to go along this. Ah, oh, that's a cat clawing my leg off. Um, we have um, mm -hmm. this road. I think it's the A forty. I think I'm not hundred percent. And both sides on the way to London, both sides is, is woodland. Now it's what I class as a spinny because a spinny is only a small woodland, isn't it? Um, yeah. So it's like it's sort of on either side of the road. But to me, I always feel that there's um, and it's not dogman. It's definitely um, Sasquatch or Bigfoot or whatever. Definitely down there all the time. Every time oh. I go there. Okay, right. So, yeah. so uh, on the A forty, coming off the M twenty five, A forty, going in towards sort of uh, Stratford going... that way. I think yeah, Stratford upon Avon, not Stratford. Or um, I don't know which way that would be that there though, because I don't think you can go to Stratford that way. But you definitely can go to London that way. You um, can, yeah. It goes into yeah. it. Go it eventually, it will go into North Holt. Yeah, North North Holt, uh, uh, RAF, uh, North yeah. Holt. Um, yeah uh slough is that sort yeah. of area isn't it slough. no it's not yeah. not slough slough so, no uh, it goes um beaconsfield past beaconsfield all yeah. that way yeah. yeah 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 um, funny enough that's where your... i had my yeah go on, carry on. i had my uh, ufo experience in uh, beaconsfield on a high high hill there yeah i've had uh, those but we're not talking about those tonight because that would be a completely no. different subject yeah 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 no we'll leave yeah. that no yeah because it's um, really deep that is that's quite scary Right. Okay. Yeah. No. I've. Yeah. I've had. I've had a few. Uh, a You've few, had some uh, near misses with those, haven't you? I have. Yeah. Yeah. Um, have you been? Um, do you feel that you've been taken? Um. <sighs> You've lost time, no. haven't you? Have you not lost time? I've lost time. Yeah. Yeah. I've lost time. Um. I haven't got any implants. I know that. Not that I know of. Uh, no, but you've lost time. Definitely lost I have time. lost time. I tell you what I am. I tell you what I am aware of. I am aware, like you, Tonya. I am aware of. Uh, I'm very sensitive to dogman. I'm very sensitive to uh, entities around me. Mm. Extremely sensitive. Uh, I'm also aware of stuff happening, and it seems to be accelerating. It is. So I, you know, um, yeah. uh, it yes. might be, and 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 the thing is, what I, I always say to people, it's the little detail, it's the details which you have to look at, which a lot of people miss. Um, tiny little things which gives thing, you know, gives stuff away. Is uh, um, uh, like I saw the, you know, um, I I might see, like say for instance, being out in the woods, we were talking about fairy doors, yeah, walking along the woods, and I just happened to see a fairy door and you're like what and by the fairy door you've got like a little cup and in it is seashells by the fairy door and then you've got a, a um a, you might have a bit of money left there you might have um like gifting by this door yeah and it's like what hang on what, what is this but um a funny thing happened this is a real funny thing and this is like kind of makes me think, do you know what? It just some you get these little signs and almost like Mandela effects. There was a house nearby where I am now, and they're having renovations done, and they've got four mature trees outside. Okay. 
yeah i passed there um uh and as i, I drove past uh sort of renovations sort of scaffolding outside the house uh and i thought oh they're doing a nice job it's gonna look nice afterwards a uh, lovely place um they're feather boarding or black feather board the outside wall so it looks oh, really nice, nice. yeah nice, lovely yeah. you know and i thought oh lucky you know um and um then one day i went past all four trees were cut down these lovely mature trees out in their yard but all chopped down down to the stump. Ugh. I was like, no, Devastated. why would you do that? Why yeah. would you? And why? I literally I said in that? the car, driving past, I was like, why would you do that? You silly, silly people. Um, uh, I was like, oh, there was went to work, uh, came back, usual route. Guess what? Past there, the trees were there. I was going to say, the tre just about to say the trees were there, but I thought I'll let him say it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you know, we're on the same yeah. wavelength. We're on the yeah, same wavelength. Totally. Made me go cold again now. <laughs> yeah. I always know when I'm right. I don't know about you because I get a yeah the cold sensation, but also a thing down yeah. my back, which is then saying yeah. that's that's with age. It took me a long time yeah. to get to where I am. I must say, I've suffered with it. It's not an easy yeah. thing to have, is it? Really, you tend no. to suffer. You've suffered as a child, and you suffer. Um, and and um, I was listening to the same before i joined to erica badu and she said why do people have to suffer but if you do go back to christianity because i love uh, anthropology i find all religion fascinating i'm not into any religion but i find religion fascinating and um you know he suffered for us did he not so that was just that that yeah. those people's yeah. version of that person suffering at that time because i do believe yeah. that it's actually a diary you know of the day yeah. so yeah and that's just one version of one face you know at the end of the day so, so I why we suffered for what we do so tonya why are you tagged why do you think you're tagged by these things i'm not tagged they just know i can sense them i don't believe i'm tagged and if i am tagged and they think they're gonna hunt me down good luck because i'm gonna give them one hell of a run for the money and i ain't moving anywhere you know i'm not tagged it's just that uh, I heard that one was particularly I think they know sensitives because mm. I think turning it on itself that they fear us actually because we know they're there you know it's like it's like you said back to the going back to the war thing you know keep your head down had that person yeah. know you know they don't if that person knew you were there you know they, they it's you've got the advantage then haven't you because you, you and yeah. to them we've got the advantage because we know they're there so just mm. say we decided to get, so just say I said, right, I'm going to do a group of people. We're going to take them out into the woods. Um, we'll be mm. fine. We'll have no issue because I'll know when there's one about. They won't like that because what they'd want you to do is go out in the woods and not know they're there because they've got the upper hand. Mm. It's not so much it's, tagging, I find. See, the thing is, it doesn't really worry me. To me personally, it doesn't really worry me. No. If I'm tagged, which I think I am for some reason, I think there's a reason why... Um, it's almost like uh, uh, they're putting on a display and some of it might be so um, trivial, so mm. stupid and even so absurd. Some of it might be so absurd, so stupid, doesn't even make any sense. But um, uh, take, for instance, okay, take, for instance, um, uh, we had a dog called Molly. The Molly died, but she was a big German shepherd. Oh, beautiful. bless her. Love shepherds. Beautiful yeah. dog, yeah. She was lovely. Yeah. Um, kind as anything, soft as anything. Anyway, um, uh, I made a special, sort of got quite a high-ish bed because I, I made the bed base. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, when you look at the bed bases, I'd rather spend money on a mattress than a wither bed That's base. what I was just saying. Don't say that, you bloody weirdo. You sure you're not stalking me? I said yeah. to him, I'm not spending that much money on the base because I need a new bed. Mine's now gone, hence my living room looks like Hiroshima. Yeah. Uh, I said, um, I said, but I will spend money on a good mattress. <sighs> yeah, you know, yeah. I'd rather split. Exactly, and that's what I'm talking about. Is that yeah. synchronicity? That's the Is word, that... but I like a better word than that, which I've forgotten well, just right now. There's one well, word I like. Um, it's in uh, Dogma. Have you ever watched the film Dogma? Oh, yes. Serendipity. 
I prefer, I'm sick to death of hearing the words, not from you, but generally, because I watched a programme about synchronicity kept going on and on. I thought, it's Saren bloody dippity. No. <laughs> you know, uh, that was really, I like, I'm going to have that tattooed on God, that's weird. That's yeah. weird. I'll tell you why. There was another, oh, there's wow. another thing. Before we had this interview, yeah. I was, uh, I, I went to the loo. Okay, <laughs> right, but, I, right, that, just, yeah. I thought I'd share that with you. I that thought I'd share that with you. Right. you. Okay, right. So, yeah. Lou, and usually I do a bit of reading. Yeah, okay. I always anyway. think better in the loo, I have to say. Yeah, carry on. Yeah, all right. So, you got because I grew up in a household where yeah. it was always Reader's Digest in the yeah, toilet. My dad was like that. Yeah, Reader's yeah. Digest every time, Reader's yeah. Digest. As a kid, I'd be like, what, what was Reader's <laughs> Digest? Well, I've always got Reader's Digest. Anyway, <laughs> um, and um, it's a bit of toilet book, somebody said. I don't know why. Yeah. Anyway, um, and I, I was, uh, uh reading about it was a transcript of a so-called gray alien right and they were asking it, it was interviewed it was alien that was caught and it was interviewed and you saying dogma they asked it they said well um what happened to us in the future now if you've come back from the uh future to us and we we are you in the future what happened to us and it said nuclear war yeah uh, um uh, why did we have this nuclear war? They asked, it, and it said, "Dogma." Yeah, dogma of religion yeah. and dogma of uh, politics. Yeah, he said. Uh, the alien said it was your dogma that killed you. Um, you, I, you know, I don't believe that. This. I don't believe in that, though. I don't. I think they tried no. to stop it. I, I think you're quite right. I think you're quite right there. But that word. How often dogma. do you hear that word dogma? And you just mentioned it. And right. not just before this interview, I was reading and I, I, it stuck with me that word. I thought, oh, dogma. That's funny. Talking about dogma. Dogma. Uh, yeah. Is that weird? Then now uh, they're serendipity, then, isn't it? I'm telling yeah. you, I'm getting that tattooed on me somewhere eventually. I love that word. Serendipity. In the film yeah. Dogma, Serendipity was the angel of um, that was in the bar and she was the one that was. Uh, That's right. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah yeah but yeah no definitely yeah mattress all the way yeah all the way. Every so, time. so so i made i made this bed base and when i made it um i made it good it's sturdy it's a good bed base i'm not a carpenter by trade or anything but i, I whacked it together but i made it a little bit too high <laughs> so by uh, the uh, <laughs> what, <just> <laughs> yeah that's it <laughs> and i'm only it. short <laughs> So I've got to take a run up and jump. <laughs> but what I had to do, and the dogs in the winter time, they like to come up. The two Jack Russells like to come up. But anyway, right. we'll get back to the story. The German Shepherd, Molly, um, I made a ramp. So it's got steps on it, if you like. Yeah. Yeah, so she used to come padding up. Uh, yeah. But when she jumped down, she'd jump straight down onto the floor. She wouldn't use the ramp for some reason. Oh, or her. she'd, you know, she'd like, bam, boom. And you'd hear it downstairs watching TV, bang, like that on, on the ceiling. And um, uh, me and the, the missus and myself downstairs watching TV, I hear it so often yeah. that we don't take any notice of it anymore. No. Uh, there's bang from upstairs in this very, I'd like to call it the, the studio I'm, I call the padded room. This is what I called it, right? I was especially the bedroom. Yeah, it's actually the bedroom. So, yeah. but yeah, it's called the padded room. Right? That's what I call it. And um, uh, <laughs> but I'm I can hear she's in it. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, so, I'm um, just going to take no notice of what you just said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't. I, I don't draw on the wall with me feet with crayons. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all my own work. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm let out on good behaviour. Oh dear, honestly. But um, yeah, it's it's it's. I think it's uh, I think it's absolutely fascinating that yeah, it's just you know we're kind of like on the same thing, yeah. definitely. Yeah, absolutely. It's meant to happen because you see, I talk. I've been talking to Paul when he did the interview for ages. I've been chatting on and off to him. I talked to Deb a lot and um yeah quite a few people in our circle um of people but no, i've never mm. been i've never joined anybody or um got because i can't i don't get out the house so you know i can't go off joining loads of things anyway so yeah. you know this is the first real interview on on this i have somebody else wanted to do it but i just never got into how you did it and it, it wasn't the right time yeah 
I do the agree. main thing things is things are meant to happen, do, you know. Yeah, I think things are meant to happen. And yeah. I, I always think that, you know, kind of the best way of holding an interview is like kind of just like really rather than shooting a load of questions and being stony faced about yeah. it. I, I think just let it organically grow. Yeah. Yeah. You know, kind of have a laugh, have a, you know, you know what I mean? Just like kind of, and I think you, you kind of like, it's a, a better way. And I'm happy if you're happy. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, it must, because I thought, oh gosh, you know, we're not doing live, because obviously it's scary, isn't it? If you think, oh, you're just on the thing yeah. live. Um, yeah. And for my first, yeah, that's brilliant that I'm not, because I fully understand it's much easier not because you've got pressure, haven't you? But really, you just can. Ins- it's like Paul. He's like that, isn't he? He's quite chatty. Yeah, he's quite free. He makes it's me lovely. Laugh. He's, he's lovely. lovely. I've been watching him with his dog. He just makes me laugh. Dog, you know, he's going to go off. You can tell he's going to go off. He's got one of them on him, and I used to be like that with mine. You know, I'd be mm-hmm. in a position where I think, right, this is going to go one or two ways. <laughs> one is yeah. really, really bad, and he's going to run yeah. straight at the person when I say don't. Or one of them is yeah. going to sit here and be, you know, and we all know our dogs, don't we? I mean, Jack Russell's, yeah. we had, used to have a Jack Russell, she, but she was oh. lovely. So, you know, oh, I love I know. our I've ten if I could. I just love them to bits. Oh, I know. And they love it. When it gets colder, they just come up. You see them oh. coming up, ramp on the bed, and their little face, their little ears, little ears down, like coming up on the bed. Like, oh, come on then. Because they all like kind of because of the warmth. And yeah. they're like, oh, yeah, you know. And they're and, uh, happy, aren't they? Let's face it. <laughs> they <laughs> are. They're my fur babies. Yeah, that's it, you know. They are, so, though, um, aren't they? Oh, very much so. I do miss yeah. mine, I must admit. That's why I had to get yeah. some, a couple of kittens, because you know. I, I can't have a dog, because I can't walk it. You know, I can't walk that far. No, And it would no. be cruel. And he, he was really, he had a big lump on his um, back leg by the end. And it was, you know, he, and everybody said, he'll tell mm. you when it's time, you know. And I was like, oh, 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 you know. Yeah. And he did. He just yeah. looked at me and said, I can't cope anymore. I said, right. <laughs> you know, uh, I, just, I found yeah. some pictures of him as a pup today. I was like. <laughs> oh, blessed. No, I don't. Oh, 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 you know. Do you know what? Um, I'm just, yeah, no. You know. So how do you feel about your cats going out at night? I meant to ask they you They don't that. go out these now. Now, my cat, I used to have two black cats, and, um, yeah. De- Merlin and Mystic, as you do. And um, I lost one <laughs> on the road. I lost one on the oh. road. So um, we had a big debate about these two. They're not going out. I think I'm just going to have to class them as house cats because that road's horrific. Uh, it's such a fast right. road. And, and they were both black, so obviously they hunted. But I have a feeling he didn't die on the road. But I should say no more to that. Um, the thing about my last cat, that when he passed away, the fear on his face was unbelievable. That will never go, you know. I don't understand why he was so scared. It was horrific. He had this total look of sheer fear when he passed away. I really? understand that, yeah. And I was stroking him and relaxed, and and he just had this sheer look of fear on his face. So I don't know what that was about. <sighs> no, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you why. I I years ago, my mum's cat. Um, this is when we were living. I call it fifty-seven. It's the house. I call it fifty-seven because it's the house number we lived at uh, in Greenford. All right. Now, yeah. Um. Uh. We had a had a cat called Solly, uh, f- solitaire. You know, James Bond. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. And um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was like stroking the solitaire. Like Felix, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 stroking, yeah, yeah. Was it? Um, uh, was it, what did he used to say? Was it? Uh, Blofeld used to say to Bond. He used to say, yeah. Uh, I suppose you want me to. No, Bond would say, I suppose you ask me, ask. Asked me here to imprison me, yeah, then. Yeah. and he said, "No, Mister Bond, I've asked you here so you can die." Choking <laughs> 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 solitaire. <laughs> but when when Solly went, I I, I went into his um uh, went into the room, and she was on the floor, and it wasn't a nice look. It looked like it was horrific. Her claws were out. Her face just looked kind of in the midst of a fight or something yeah strange it isn't it odd another odd. film you want to watch I, I do draw a lot of films because i do believe their messages somehow because when people create these things i think they're told that's just my belief and uh, there's that one uh, with keanu reeves when he has to go um he, has, he uses a cat to go over and see where whether rachel wise's twin sister killed herself do you know what oh. film I'm talking about because yeah, you see um, Con- Constantine. Constantine. Cons- Cons- they're making a the second one, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to 
take i'm gonna say thank you very much for being on and hopefully okay. uh we'll, we'll, we'll no, you'll come on again and we can chat about other things hopefully. yeah other things um, <laughs> that would be cool and um i'm gonna play some music now uh take us out and um yeah thank you very much and then uh yeah and i just want to say thank you everyone for uh, joining and um uh tonya has been a brilliant absolutely fantastic uh guest um very very interesting very knowledgeable as well and uh please like share and subscribe it really helps a small channel like this to uh, grow and bring more content um and uh yeah just take care everybody thank you very much Thank mm -hmm. you.